Hello everyone and welcome back. Meet Department here. I appreciate you all joining me for another video today. So as you may be aware, Giant Simulator has released another update. Version 5.188. The Shiny Artifact Update. So, not what I was expecting, but hey, it is actually really cool nonetheless. And it does help everyone progress a little bit faster because the artifacts do give awesome multipliers to gold soul gems and the quest points so basically the long story short you could take five of the same artifact combine them together to evolve them into a more powerful artifact which is two times as strong as the original so the Illumin the illuminati key here non-evolved 5.3 is across the board evolved 10.6 so it basically just doubles it you could only evolve it one time right now but obviously it says evolutions one and evil one even on the little icon here so perhaps down the road you'll be able to continue forward with that so i went ahead and bought a few more 100,000 quest point artifacts and look i was lucky to get my fourth mask of the ancients which i'll no longer be equipping so rest in peace mask of the ancients you came a day too late and i was a buck too short to be cool i was only rocking three the fourth comes of course at the evolution update but hey that's the way it works i did get a whole ton of pyramids as you see i was able to evolve three of them and some of the tome of the watchers so that's what i'm rocking right now three pyramids one book we got 42 multipliers across the board, which is huge because it was only 19 before this update. So quest points are coming in and they're coming in fast, along with it being double quest point plus 50% more sold gems this week. So just going to keep spamming away quests and buying the 100k artifacts as I get the quest points the old fashioned way. Um, we go ahead and do that right now. Let's take a look and see what these 358,000 quest points give me if they do give me another mask of the ancients i guess we'll give them a little combined action but probably won't happen a little orb of power cool let's get it ancient shard love it the final countdown orb of power gives me nothing to combine right now but i'll keep them here i guess actually no i won't keep them here will bulk sell them because you know what it doesn't even matter because if anything i'm going to keep books and pyramids for longevity's sake down the road if an evo 2 comes out and i could use five of these to combine to another evolution too um won't be doing the lesser ones anyways because honestly the pyramids and books come at such a consistent rate 20 22 percent there's no point to keep the rest that's just fodder in the bags so we won't be doing that so that's kind of how the system works um what i suggest doing is depending on your level of play beginner novice intermediate high whatever you're going for and can comfortably get the most quest points in this week i would go for that so for instance a novice beginner player maybe getting a hundred thousand quest points is possible a couple times but not something you can continuously do especially after the boost is gone with the 100 percent additional so honestly looking at what they give you um, the artifacts seem like they've been buffed a little bit, at least at the 10k and 100k level. I don't know about the 1k, um, but I'm fairly certain that they've been buffed a little bit. So they become a little bit stronger. For example, my Illuminati key now gives me 5.3. And I believe that was only 4 just before this recent patch. Whereas the Mask of the Ancients was 5 and now it's 6. So... Those have been upgraded. I'm pretty sure the 10Ks have been boosted a little bit as well. So to give you a pro tip and my recommendations now, as we currently sit, is looking at the stats. The win orb gives you three plus three. Cracked shards plus 3.2. Tome of mana plus 3.4. Void gem plus 3.6. Earth and orb. We love it. It now gives a plus 3.8. That is up from plus point or plus three so it got 0.8 more stronger and the necrona the necronomicon book can never say that can never say it 
gives a 4.2 now. And that is up from, I don't know, what was it? 3.6 or 3.8 or something like that. I can't remember. So those, those have all been buffed. Obviously the 100Ks, because I just told you about two of them and I have been buffed as well. So what that means, why did I tell you this? Because the worst 10K one, the Win Orb, the absolute worst gives plus three. And the absolute best of the 100K gives plus six. So if you evolve the worst, if you just happen to get five of the worst, if that's your luck, you evolve them, it's gonna be a plus six. Your five of the very worst ones you get will be as good as the very best one in the game, not evolved. So, why is this important and why am I even saying that? Obviously, from a min-max perspective, if you're able to buy tons of 100,000 ones, go for that. Try to get evolved pyramids or masks, because that's going to give you the highest number, the maximum. But if you're not in that situation and farming 100,000 isn't something you can regularly and do as much as going to be needed for you to get five pyramids or five masks over and over again, then I would definitely recommend at least starting with the 10Ks and trying to evolve a bunch of 10Ks. Because essentially when you evolve the 10Ks, it's going to make you as strong, if not stronger, than the best single 100,000. So it gets even better. If you evolve five crack shards, it's going to go to 6.4. That is already better than the best 100K you're going to have. So it just gets better from there. If you do get five earthen orbs and evolve them, well, that's going to be a lot better. A lot better. It'll be, uh, what is it, 7.6? So, definitely evolve shinies, way better. Or, at the worst case scenario, be in the wind orb equal to the best 100k you could possibly get. So, unless you just want to have cool looking icons that are pyramids, masks, or whatever, if you're actually playing for stats, I would say at this point, it's easier to keep on farming 10k's. You can come and get them as you go along and chances are you'll get a lot of the duplicates you can combine. It may take you 100 or 2,000 quest points to get five duplicates four times over, but in the long run, you're going to have higher stats by having four shiny 10K artifacts than four regular 100K. So take that for what it's worth. Um, I plan on doing that on my alt, I'm pretty sure at this point, going, changing the game plan a little bit and grinding the 10K shinies rather than the 100k singles because we have the shiny update here a lot sooner than I would have expected. So that's the game plan for the artifacts. And if you are low on inventory space, not promoting it, don't have it myself. I noticed there is a new pass, plus 50 artifacts for 200 Robux. If you really need the inventory space, just know that that is there and you can purchase it. Although it would have been nice for them just to improve or increase the capacity to encourage the players to acquire more of those artifacts. The same thing goes for pets. So I know I've been asking, not asking, I haven't really asked anything, but I have mentioned in a lot of my reopening videos, the capacity of pets would be beautiful to increase if a new pet chest came out. Well, now that I'm seeing how things are working, I guess you could expect to have to pay for your imp improved capacity, most likely, if more pets come out and if they offer that pass as a option, as an option. Um, so that you can keep the pets you have and also hold more. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind as you play and plan your future of collecting pets and artifacts. So I do have the three pyramids as I showed you and the Tome of the Watcher. So mine are 42 and we get a lot for doing quests. It was relatively easy to get a bunch of 100Ks. I can tell you that much. Right now I gotta kill Borok four times, so that takes a very long time. So let's just take a look here at the server, give some shout outs to everyone in here. We've got Ray9709, shout out to you Ray. I think I may have run away from you if you had the temple. We got Razor112, Adin Stowe, Blower Gift Pills, it's mixed YT. Mexican Melon, Black Knight 4047, Simba D, Doggos Our Lady, shout out to you. Reverse Cowgirl, okay. Coffee Hunt, Coffee Hunty. Not a hunter, just a coffee hunt. Hunte. We got Bob, 
Did, there, did I miss anyone with this little mix up here? Angelic Dragon, shout out to you. I don't think I shouted you out, so there you go. Um, uh, some of these are newer friends that joined us for the very first live stream we did on Friday, September 18th. If you are a subscriber, you probably got a notification in your feed to check that out. It was two hours and 20 minutes long and it was fun. The most packed and hyped the server has been since I've played with activity. That was actually a lot of fun. I had a good time. I know we'll only improve and do better with those since that was the very first one. So you can find that on the page. It is unlisted, but it is in a live streams playlist. And of course, if you are a subscriber, you are notified of that and can check it out anytime. But it is not made public. It will not go on any public feeds to induce views because they're live streams. And I'll just leave them unlisted for those that are subscribers to be able to easily find. And that's how things will roll for now. Um, so yeah, that's it for the shiny artifact update. I think it was pretty cool, unexpected. I um, was kind of hoping for pets or weapons or something like that, but hey, that gives us something to look forward to down the road and maybe things will slow down for a while. So perhaps Mithril Games wanted to really pump out this artifact system and boost it up to give players a chance to really get that going, you know, get comfortable with it, get rolling and set up with it. Take a little bit of time to optimize it unless you're a power player that just dumps a bunch of resources to get the best things as they are released um but for the average player you're going to take a little bit of time to build that up and get those multipliers going so hopefully by that time a new update will come to release a new area or something like that so who knows when the next update will be it doesn't really matter because it's always a beautiful surprise and i will say that these last few updates personally have come at unideal times for me been very busy very busy schedule very busy on the weekends usually not at my keyboard when these version updates release so i did miss the big original update of the artifacts when they first came out i wasn't even anywhere near my home and of course when this one released the shiny update i was also not available <laughs> so here we are uh a couple days later whatever Getting a deep first look at them, giving you my thoughts on them, my recommendations. Please take into consideration what I tell you. But of course, just do whatever's best for you. It's hard. People ask for advice all the time. And I can only generalize and give you what I think is the best path to perhaps go. But again, you know your character best. You know how it feels to level up, how fast you level up, how effective your gold investment into enchants on your particular gear has been. A lot of things are to consider what pets you have if you have any game passes what is your skill level you know should i save for 10 million gold skin well that's a very subjective question how fast do you get 10 million what skin are you wearing now and how much have you dumped into that current skin already so how much have you already invested into that skin and is it going to be worth you saving to that 10 million to then start fresh and have to start enchanting or is that 10 million better allocated in other spots until you decide to rebirth and etc. So it's kind of just you have to know your character and feel if things are slowing down and that the stuff you are doing now is having a slower progression feel. I always suggest just generally you can answer most questions. When you start feeling like you are slowing down to a point where it's not feeling like you're achieving much, you probably want to think about rebirthing. And if so, hopefully you can get at least one full tier of skills which means get that gold tier on the bottom at least one time preferably more than that every time you rebirth but again it just depends on your character if you have game passes your multipliers all that stuff all that stuff that's all i'll say it's all it can be here we go ray because i ran away from you before double shout out to ray jumping around in his Udzel skin i love it Anyone else join while I was yapping? No? I guess not. I guess not. So I have a, a billion, 700 gold. Uh, Light Hunter's kicking around 20k. Bex at 22. Been just slamming at home. Let's end this video in a traditional noob to pro fashion. We'll do a good old rebirth. Get it all set up and see how fast we can get 100 no 100k is probably too low how fast can we get 200k let's just 
do that. Why not go ahead and get her started? Little rebirth. Always a fantastic feeling. Go ahead and spam this. Just mash my buttons. Extinction. Gold Doom Blade. We love you. We love you for being worthless. Winter Blade of Shadows. I actually do love the Winter Blade of Shadows. Mm -hmm. It's a nice one. Sorrow's Mithril Broadsword. Not a fan either. Not a fan. Let's keep cranking them home. Winter Blade of Shadows. Let's go. Not enough space in my weapon inventory. What? Let's check it out then, huh? Little King's Blade hanging out. Right there. Little main hand that thing. You, you know what we'll go for today in this noob to pro setup. Let's go ahead and get everyone's favorite, the double kings. Let's do it. Why not? Let's go double kings this time. Not going to make a huge difference in the end. For me. But that's what I'm doing this time. So as we're spamming a uh, chest here to get up to 200k after a fresh rebirth, um, okay, nothing. I will say that these events have been pretty cool, and having the double quest point, 50% sold gems this week, awesome. Great job on that. I know that I personally thought that a double quest point event would have been lovely. And apparently the developers and I are have ESP and on the same wavelength with a lot of things. I seem to think very similarly on. So I'm glad to see that come in for everyone to really crank home the, uh, the artifacts because it's kind of what's needed. The artifact system and quest points. Let's let people get the ball rolling here. If there's anything left they have to finish without the boosts, it'll be easier as long as they do some work with the boosts. Um, and really, I think it's the attempt of Mithril Games right now in Giant Simulator to help at least lessen the gap, reduce the gap from power player to, let's just say, novice. Obviously, the power players are going to be OP and remain OP and get more OP because I'm going to maximize the new stuff even harder, making them OP. But it's also going to help the beginner. There we go. A little main hand action. Um, it's it's going to help the beginner, novice, intermediate player as well because things slow down the way they were. Now these artifacts give them boosts in certain areas, promote certain types of active gameplay, non-active gameplay, but it definitely promotes uh, farming different things besides doing the same old stuff so it's gonna help that in that regard um, the leaderboards right now kind of don't know what to say about the lead leaderboards they have gone crazy they're gonna keep on going crazy <laughs> so it's kind of fun to watch actually uh, on, on those it really is let's equip Borok back all right so noob to pro noob to pro what would a noob to pro do They'd mash that button and enchant their stuff up. So let's do it. I think we wanted to get up to 200k and we're going to end this video. I hope the information in the video was helpful. You probably or may have already known about the artifacts, assuming it's been out for a couple days at this point. But give you my thoughts on it in a first look and throw in some extra tips that you may not have heard before. Um, especially considering the 10k versus 100k and all that so let's get this light hunter boosted up a little bit that one we'll go ahead and this one then then we'll spam however many of these we need to get back back the fire god but let's get that xp rolling because i want to end this at 200k so it should be right on the money let's hope when these are boosted up get some serious levels some serious levels All right, almost at around 600. I'll stop so it's about even with the other one. We're getting there. 
All right, stop that. Oh, look at look at this little party right here. What do we got? Xenon, shout out to you, Xenon. I think you joined just recently and maybe chatted, but sorry, I'll get with you after the video. Let's spam this home, buddy. Maybe, maybe you're good luck. You got back on. You're looking sharp. It's like I'm looking in, in, in the mirror. Whoa, where'd you go, Arena? Took off on me. Took off on me. Avon, the Silver Warrior. Oh, man. I've told stories before in the live stream videos. Avon was my very first 10 million skin. Very cool looking skin. You know what? Coincidentally enough, on my alt, during the live stream on Friday, people were saying, go for the 10 million skin. I said, I will, because I'm close. Well, I have been, because I've been getting quest points this week and playing it pretty darn hard. And guess what? My first 10 million skin on the alt was. You probably already guessed it. It was Aven. So both of my characters. Getting Aven is the very first. The very first. It's such a beautiful thing. All right. Sithrex the Darkened Cyborg Knight. Crazy Clown Balloon Shoulder Pads. Serious armor right there. Serious armor. Odger Gorm, the Fallen. Oh, Sithrex, look at you. Look at you, your armor. Beck hanging out in the pack. Get it. All right, we have the Trifecta. Let's go ahead and get this baby upgraded. We're at over 100K now, so not too far off for the 200K. Leading to the end of this video here with the newest update on shinies, shiny artifacts. So again, just to recap, you could combine five artifacts together to double the effectiveness of them. You could do that one time right now, evolution one. Um, what I would recommend for a beginner, novice, intermediate level player that can maybe pump out 100K artifacts or quest points, I should say, but maybe not too consistently, where you're not gonna be able to have a, a stockpile of them to try to combine. I would definitely say then, if your old goal was to get four 100Ks, and that was tough, your new goal should be to combine four 10Ks, because even the worst combined 10K one, the Wind Orb, will be as good as the one unevolved Mask of the Ancients. It will be equal to Mask of the Ancients unevolved. So what that means is, worst case scenario, you have what would be four Mask of the Ancients. They just don't look like Mask of the Ancients if you were to evolve four 10Ks. A better case is your stats are actually higher because maybe you get some Void Gems, Earthen Orms, or Necronomicons, which will give you better stats. And probably the way I see it, opening chests and getting how they feel, or getting the feel for them, I think it would probably be easy er to combine f five 10k ones than it would be to get a really good 100k one. Um, yeah. For 100k, you're getting 10 10k ones. I think the investment probably is in your favor to go for those 10k, so I cannot push that enough. Are we at 200k? We are not. I just spammed all kinds of money into Beck. All kinds. Let's spam a little more into this Light Hunter here. Jump around. And yeah. So take advantage of this week. Rebirth when you can. 50% more soul gems is pretty significant. Twice as many quest points. Also equally significant to get your artifacts to improve your multipliers. And just have the whole thing just one big jumbled calculator of goodness. To give you all kinds of numbers. Um, so yeah. We are almost to 200k. Which means we're almost to the end of the video for today so let's get this enchanted up switch over to this little guy use the rest of my my gold mm -hmm. all right we're just about there bring that back up and 200k there we are noob to pro 200k 
after talking artifacts. So, again, shout out to everyone here. Shout out to Jeffy, who recently joined as well. All right. Thank you all for being here today. I do appreciate it. I hope the information was helpful. You enjoyed it. You found my thoughts and opinions on the matter at least a little bit helpful. Hope to I always try to throw in a little bit of extra information and knowledge your way because there's not enough of it going on out there. And really to improve, get better, and to be in the know is to first listen, understand. So I do what I do to help and I hope you appreciate it. So thank you for sticking around this long. I want to quickly say thank you to all my subscribers. We are over 630 subscribers, I think. Let me, I guess, check while I'm here. Let's see what the official number is right now at the time of recording. Six, wow, holy moly, 670. You guys are insane, I love it. The support, tremendous tremendous can't thank you enough hopefully this channel keeps on progressing the content will keep progressing getting better as time goes on because that's how it works things get better hopefully we reach more and more people and have a good old time so if you have not already please like the video hit the subscribe button and even smash the bell for notifications if you would like to know when new videos drop or I randomly go live. That's a fun thing. So until next time, have fun, keep swinging, and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.